Good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Hindu editorial analysis on 26 Feb 2020. Before I go to the editorial, I would like to spend a few minutes on the enrichment. What, what are you going to learn from this editorial today? You are going to learn 10 words, wielding, outrageously, partisan, arson, riotous, conflagration, inexplicably, incitement, cauldron, conspiracy. These are the words you are going to learn. Besides these words, you are going to learn five phrasal verbs. Clamp down, bring down, drive down, live down, set down. And uh, not only the phrasal verbs, you are going to learn five idiomatic expressions. What are these five idiomatic expressions? Spill the beans, take a rain check, let someone off the hook, wrap your head around something, don't cry over spilt milk. And uh, you're going to learn about uh, a few words from the headlines. Skirts, resolution, skip, weary, traffickers, conjoined. Besides all these words and phrasal verbs and idioms, you're going to learn one word map and you're going to work on phrase replacement, important from the exam point of view. You're going to work on one close, new pattern. You're going to work on the para jumble. So that's all about uh, this editorial, what you're going to learn from this editorial today. Now let us go to the actual editorial. This editorial talks about a test of governance on Delhi violence. This talks about the violence in the capital city, Delhi. And it says that it's a test of governance for the central government as well as Kejriwal government, up government. A test of governance on Delhi violence. The police must clamp down on the communal violence in Delhi. It talks about what police have to do when it comes to the communal violence in the capital city or in Delhi. The police must clamp down. There's one important helping verb here, clamp down. A must. Must means what? It has two functions. One is, it is used to express a personal obligation. It also conveys the idea that something is compulsory. The police must clamp down. There's one important expression here, clamp down, which means to take strong action to stop or limit a harmful or unwanted activity. The editor will say the police must clamp down on the communal violence in Delhi. Communal violence in parts of Delhi, an year shot away from the nerve center of the government of India, has claimed 13 lives and left over 150 injured. This talks about what exactly happened in the capital city, how many people uh, lost their lives and how many people got injured. Communal violence in parts of Delhi, perhaps scattered incidents, and ear shot away from the nerve center of the government of India. There are two expressions here. One is ear shot, means a distance over which one can hear. Away from the nerve center, that is an important expression. Nerve center means control center. Communal violence in parts of Delhi and ear shot away from the nerve center of the government of India has claimed this sentence is in present perfect. Today I'm going to focus on grammar part as well besides uh, the editorial analysis and vocabulary, has claimed, this sentence is in present perfect, has claimed what? 13 lives and left over 150 injured. Mobs of pro-CAA demonstrators and anti-CAA protesters wielding sticks and weapons have taken over parts of the city and the Delhi police have proved themselves woefully inadequate at best and outrageously partisan and communal at worst in responding to the situation. This is a lengthy sentence, but the sentence is in, uh, there are two clauses, each clause is in present perfect. What is the first one? It talks about the stand taken by anti-CAA protesters and uh, pro-CAA uh, supporters. Mobs of pro-CAA demonstrators and anti-CAA protesters wielding sticks. There's one important word, wielding. Wield means to hold. Usually it goes with uh, holding a stick and trying to beat someone or trying to scare someone. Mobs of the pro-CAA demonstrators and anti-CAA protesters wielding sticks and weapons have taken over, have taken over, again present perfect tense, parts of the city and the Delhi police have proved, this is also in present perfect, have proved themselves a reflexive pronoun, woefully inadequate, woeful, it is adjective, woefully, adverb, woefully means badly, inadequate, adequate opposite, inadequate, at best, this is one good expression. Woefully bad or woefully inadequate at best, look at the expression, and outrageously partisan and communal at worst. 
at best, at worst. This is like parallel expression. So woefully inadequate at best and outrageously partisan and communal at worst. There is one important word, outrageously, shockingly, and partisan, supporting someone, supporter, and communal at worst in responding to the situations. It talks about how the police responded and uh, what exactly the stand that was taken by the police. There was nothing abrupt or unexpected about the violence that erupted in the city's northeastern parts on Monday. There's nothing, there was nothing abrupt. Abrupt means sudden. The editorial says it was not a sudden thing. There was nothing abrupt or unexpected about the violence that erupted in the city's northeastern parts on Monday. Erupted, usually it goes with uh, volcanic eruptions. That's a typical combination or collocation. But here, erupted means what started, all of a sudden. You could also think of the word exploded. Violence that erupted in the city's northeastern parts on Monday. This has been in the making for weeks. So it talks about this did not happen all of a sudden. It was not something that was abrupt. It has been in the making for weeks. This is a very good sentence. This has been in the making for weeks. This sentence is also in present perfect. This has been in the making for weeks. Do remember the pattern. There was exploded, I have told you already. There was arson and violence on December 16 in areas around the Jamia Milia Islamia to which the police responded by indiscriminately unleashing violence on students inside the university. In fact, that uh, video became viral and everyone was taken aback. They were shocked. There was arson. That's an important word. It means what? Criminal act of setting fire to property. There was, what exactly happened, the editorial talks about, it provides a background information. There was arson and violence on December 16 in areas around the Jamia Milia Islamia to which the police responded by indiscriminately, randomly, without any reason, without any rationality, indiscriminately unleashing, unleash your potential, that's a good expression, unleash means what? Releasing. In this context, unleashing violence, releasing violence on students inside the university. A group of masked rioters went from room to room in student hostels in JNU on January 5th, and the police stood passively. This talks about another incident which, which happened in JNU. A group of masked rioters, rioters means agitators, a group of masked rioters went from room to room in student hostels in JNU on January 5th, and the police stood passively, stood passively, that is also an important expression. What does it mean? That is in past. They did not do anything. There was no action from the police. Passive. They were just observing, perhaps. Rioters clearly identified through pictures haven't been arrested yet. This is also in present perfect, but it is in passive voice. What does it talk about? Rioters clearly identified through pictures haven't been arrested yet. And when we use present perfect, we use the word yet, it should be at the end of the sentence. You should recollect that also. Haven't been arrested yet. This is in present perfect passive voice. The Delhi police did nothing when a gunman opened fire at anti-CAA protesters on January 30th. This talks about an another incident which took place on January 30th. What exactly happened? The Delhi police did nothing. They did not do anything. They did nothing when a gunman opened fire at anti-CAA protesters on January 30th. This smoldering situation turned into conflagration by Sunday evening as mobs formed on communal lines prepared to take on each other. This is also a good sentence. There are two words very important. One is smoldering. Smoldering means burning slowly with smoke but no flame. That is not a regular word. It goes with effective English. This smoldering situation, burning slowly with smoke but no flame, turned into conflagration. Already have got one word, inferno. Inferno means massive fire. Conglomeration also means the same. Extensive fire. By Sunday evening, as mobs formed on communal lines, prepare to take on each other. Prepare to take on each other. That's a good expression. Means they are ready to attack each other. Both sides complained that Secretary Ajay Bala inexplicably characterized the situation as fully under control, Calls were made to the police in Sunday, but where there was no effective intervention as chaos and arson spread through Monday Union Home. This sentence is a little confusing. Some problem is there and uh, could be because of punctuation, could be something else. Let us have a look at the important words from these two sentences. Both sides complained that Secretary Ajay Bala 
inexplicably that's an important word what does it mean in a way that cannot be explained it also means strangely but generally do- talks about in a way that cannot be explained properly inexplicably characterized the situation as fully under control calls were made to the police in sunday but there was no effective intervention no intervention no one intervened and no one tried to do something about that as chaos chaos is an important word what is the meaning of the word chaos chaos means confusion as chaos in arson already have got the meaning to set fire to property spread through monday union home the inaction and inefficiency of the delhi police is linked to varying grades of incitement and silent consent to communal mobilization by the bjp that is in power at the center this talks about why did the police did not uh, why did they act and why did they remain passive the inaction and inefficiency of the delhi police is linked to what is linked to varying grades of incitement and silent consent to communal mobilization by the bjp that is in power at the center there are two important words over here and one is incitement incite means provoke instigate another word is instigate and uh, consent consent means agreement incitement one dimension and silent consent agreement to or you could also say approval to communal mobilization by the bjp that is in power at the center policing and law and order in delhi are the responsibility of the union home ministry it talks about whose responsibility it is when it comes to policing speeches of home minister amit shah and prime minister narendra modi during the recent assembly election campaign in delhi were clearly meant to encourage communal communal polarization this talks about the background information what exactly happened at the time of assembly elections in delhi speeches of home minister amit shah and prime minister narendra modi during the recent assembly election campaign in delhi were clearly meant to encourage communal communal polarization the speeches were meant to encourage something encourage what communal polarization polarization means division dividing the society into two distinct groups polarization that's an important word and it is in the limelight nowadays if you read the newspaper you come across the word polarization quite often lower rung leaders rung the word rung goes with uh, a ladder if you take a ladder a ladder has the steps they are not the steps actually the correct word for that in english is rung lower rung leaders when it comes to the party hierarchy you have someone at the top and someone at the middle someone at the bottom and lower rung leaders it talks about that lower rung leaders acted on cue and turned delhi into a communal cauldron over recent months it talks about based on the speeches what exactly happened the lower rung leaders they took the clue or acted on cue and turned delhi into a communal cauldron cauldron means a situation characterized characterized by instability over recent months union minister of state for home g kishan reddy statement that the delhi violence is a conspiracy to shame india globally during us president donald trump's visit is beside the point editorial says that is not the point it is beside the point union minister of state for home g kishan reddy statement what was his statement that the delhi violence is a conspiracy to shame india globally during the us president donald trump's visit is beside the point next to the point the unfailing efficiency claimed by those who control the central and state governments in delhi will be proven shallow opposite of shallow is deep shallow means superficial the unfailing efficiency claimed by those who control the central and state governments in delhi will be proven shallow if they cannot enforce elementary law and order right under their nose so whatever they say it will not make any sense if they cannot enforce law and order in the capital city communal violence any time anywhere happens only due to the inefficiency or collusion of both of those in power so editorial talks about why does it happen communal violence there are two reasons for that one is inefficiency the other one is collusion communal violence any time anywhere happens only due to the inefficiency or collusion collusion is an important word collusion means you join hands with someone with the intention of doing something wrong or harming someone collude collusion inefficiency or collusion of both of those in power 
द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल मस्ट प्रूव द एफिशियंसी एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्किल्स बाय क्लैम्पिंग डाउन ऑन वायलेंस वॉट एवर इट टेक्स दिस टॉक्स अबिट अगेन राधे इट रीटरेट्स वॉट हैज बीन सेड इन द एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एडिटोरियल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल मस्ट प्रूव द एफिशियंसी एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्किल्स बाय क्लैम्पिंग डाउन it starts with the same thing must and also clamping down clamping down what on violence whatever it takes whatever the measures whatever action required whatever expertise required they have to do it at any cost that's what it talks about that's all about today's editorial a lot of though it is an easy editorial easy to comprehend easy to relate to here it is like uh, you can learn a lot of words that is the reason why i have brought this editorial now have a look at uh, the words now time to enrich your language proficiency and uh, do have a look at these words take one word at a time respond based on your response i'll say whether it is right or wrong now it is time for enriching your language skills and proficiency already i see malayadri says one f nagamani one f first you identify the part of speech that is better i told you yesterday don't go straight away to the meaning of the word better you get and write the part of speech then you think of the meaning i see one or two students have mentioned one is nagamani and spandan also they have written the part of speech i appreciate so what is it here wield wield power wield something display show usually a stick or something to chase away someone to beat someone part of speech is a verb it is a regular verb wield wielded wielded and what does it mean i see a lot of students say the answer is f what is f here holding that is absolutely right wield a stick hold a stick display a stick now go to the second one do i would like to remind you guys please write the part of speech that will help you in the long run outrageous adjective outrageously adverb that is right i will appreciate if you write the part of speech then i will say you are on the track no outrageously not adjective it is adverb outrageously what is the meaning of that i see a lot of students they have got it right adverb outrageously shockingly and here easy to make out shockingly usually adverbs end in the letter in the letters ly but do remember exceptions are there fast fast it is not fastly it is only fast that's a common error so outrageously adverb h partisan partisan stand pa- try to make combinations partisan view partisan stand then you get the combination that means what the part of speech is adjective what is not noun it is adjective i have given the combinations partisan stand partisan view partisan part of speech adjective and uh, what is the meaning of that i see yes i is the answer absolutely right now go to the fourth one today the response is has been a little slow are the words difficult or uh, how do you find these words easy or difficult four ravi says noun and uh, nagamani also says noun Samreen says noun, Optimus Prime noun, Moses noun, and Yamuna also says noun. Ha, huh. fourth one is noun, absolutely arson noun. And what does it mean? Setting because of space constraint, I have written the keywords. Setting the property on fire. Setting the property on fire. So answer is the first one. Setting fire to property. Absolutely right. Puja and. Uh, Sakhu Bai, that's right, and also Sumit Kumar. Please go to the fifth one. Identify the part of speech. That is rather easy. A rioter, singular. Rioters, plural. So obviously, which part of speech is it? It's a noun. So what is the meaning of that particular word, rioters? I see a lot of students getting it right. What is it? B. B is absolutely right. Agitators, rioters, agitators. conflagration this is an important word usually effective english you could think of partisan it is in the limelight outrage all these are very important outrageously 
arson also quite often you come across in the newspapers and rioters rather easy should not be a problem for our students conflagration entirely new word not a regular word and t i o n usually it is a noun based on that you can make out but do remember exceptions are always there what is the meaning of that i see a lot of students lakshmi swami uh, raju spandana all these uh, king we have a king here uh, they say what is option that one j what is j extensive fire that is right what is other word for that inferno do remember the word inferno also means the same extensive fire go to the next one inexplicably <laughs> inexplicably means what which part of speech is it first one word 7 it is no no write the part of speech that is always better obviously it is adverb inexplicable stand adjective inexplicably adverb what does it mean Seven C strangely, that is right. It also in a way that cannot be explained. Do remember that meaning, inexplicable, something that cannot be explained easily. Now go to the next one, incitement. Can't explain, Manoj. That is right. Optimus seven is over. That is right. But go to the eighth one. D Mahita, that is right. It is over. Please go to the eighth one. Yes, Sumit Kumar, that is absolutely right. Eight Nagmani says noun. Obviously, M E N T. It has to be a noun. Not always exceptions are there. Incite is a verb. Incited. It's a regular verb. Incitement noun. And what does it mean? Incite answer is G. Absolutely right. What is it? Provoke. Provocation. Incite. Provoke. And what is a better word instigate you should also recollect the word instigate now go to the ninth one first you identify the part of speech yes mira that is right eight it is g now go to the next one ninth what is it cauldron aisha samreen says 9 e noun adjective or noun it has to be a noun and uh, it is unstable not a stable situation so what is the answer here e is the answer what are you left with conspiracy that is a regular word again incitement regular word inexplicable a regular word what is the last one conspiracy if you read the newspapers quite often you come across the word conspiracy and which option are you left with which one is there d is the answer but conspiracy which part of speech is it it is a noun what does it mean secret plan and uh, you should also recollect try to recollect the related word that will help you conspiracy you should also think of the word collude has anyone got all the 10 correct within no time i appreciate you are responding within no time that is really appreciable you should be very happy had you got uh, all the 10 correct it is wonderful those who have got all the 10 correct i really appreciate i see uh, mahendra malyadri nagamani sai kartik olive branch that's wonderful good now work on this close test yesterday also similar pattern same pattern i brought yesterday and today also julius caesar conspiracy yes ravi that is right good example have a look at this uh, close paragraph short paragraph and try to get the correct order should be easy already i see one spandana sai spandana uh, he or she i'm not quite sure but responded let others also go through ayesha also says d a e c b which option is that third option mira also says option 3 ayesha option 3 option 3 option 3 yes what is option 3 once you get the first one here abrupt what is the meaning of the word abrupt sudden sudden very sudden d how many options are there with d 
only one option being smart using your presence of mind you should decide you don't have to look at other words the answer is third option that saves your time and energy and that is being smart there was nothing sudden or unexpected about the violence that erupted erupted exploded or start suddenly that is the next one uh, in the cities northeastern parts on monday this has been in the making for weeks there was arson arson means what setting property on fire and that is uh, e that is right d a e and what next on december 16th in areas around jamia millia islamia to which the police responded by indiscriminately c randomly unleashing b releasing you got it right elimination process exactly that will save your time and energy i have brought the para jumble yesterday there was no para jumble so today there is one para jumble it should not be that difficult have a look and try to get the correct order again take elimination approach ask the question what is this about get the topic sentence then identify the pairs of sentences you can get the correct order i think there is a problem buffering problem are you guys getting the video ha huh, i also i can make out buffering problem is there let us wait for a minute a few seconds rather in the meantime have a look at that and be ready with uh, the correct order what is the first sentence here i a lot of students say you don't have any problem regarding buffering no buffering problem that's good okay that's wonderful i'm glad to know that uh, a lot of students say one is a b what is b here a group of masked rioters went from room to room let us take that one and we'll cross check b and what is the second one a group of masked rioters went from room to room two is d that is right room to room in student hostels in jnu on january 5 and the police stood passively what is the next one what is the third one a is the third one that is right the rioters clearly identified through pictures haven't been arrested yet that is right and what is the next one here you can take a clue from the dates january 5th and bda related to one idea what is the next one it should be e why it talks about a different date which date is that january 5th january 30th the delhi police did nothing when a gunman opened fire at anti caa protesters on january 30th that is right and now what are you left with impact of that this smoldering situation turned into conflagration by sunday evening as mobs formed on communal lines prepared to take on each other so what are the last two sentences c f these two are rather related b d a e c f who has got the correct order the last one is f that is right good that's really good here how many sentences are there six not five and uh, five is c and six is f absolutely right those have got it right be happy that's really good i appreciate now it is again a new model uh, today uh, mahendra singh that is good i appreciate malayadi also sai kartik very good keep it up phrase replacement 
phrase replacement. You see the phrase in yellow color and you, you may come across one error or another uh, two or three. No problem. Always be amit, be optimistic, be positive. It will take some time. And do remember, all things are difficult before they are easy. Initially, everything is difficult, but when you practice a lot, the same thing becomes rather easy. So guys, have a look at uh, these sentences. In each sentence, you see a few words in yellow color, and uh, you may come across one error or two errors. Don't think there's only one error. Malyadri has responded. He says, uh, lives and injured. Let, let us wait. Other, I want others also. Lives, that is right, and injured. Lakshmi also say the same thing, says the same thing. Yamuna also the same. Op Ram also says the same thing. Not lived. Here, 13 lives, not lives. What is the right word here? Has claimed 13 lives and left over 150 injured, not injuries. Lives and injured. Absolutely right. Now read the second sentence. Where are the errors? Wielding sticks and wielding weapons have been taken over parts of the city. Yes, Sumit Kumar, that is right. 13 lives and left over 150 injured. Go to the next one. Again, don't stop with one error. Don't assume there's only one error. You may come across one or two or three. Raj Shekhar says second wielding and sticks and weapons. That is right. Ram has got it right. Here, you don't have to use wielding two times. The second wielding is redundancy. Mobs of pro-CAA demonstrators and anti-CAA protesters wielding sticks and weapons. No need of wielding sticks and wielding weapons. This is one error. And here the subject is mobs. They have done something. They have done the action. Then we cannot use passive voice. Have been taken passive voice. But here the sentence should be in active voice. Then it is in present perfect tense. And what is the subject here? Mobs. Mobs have taken over. Been should not be there. If we use been, it changes to passive voice. Here the subject is the doer. We don't have to use passive voice. We have to use active voice. And mobs, plural, have taken over. These are the two errors. Now go to the third sentence. Hmm, that's good, Monica. I can make out easily. The Delhi police has proved themselves woeful inadequately, at best, and outrageously partisan and communal at worst. This is a very good sentence pattern. The first error, I see a lot of students, they've got it right. The Delhi police has is not correct. It should be have. The Delhi police have proved themselves is it uh, Muniswami? Yes, woefully. It is not woeful. It is. It should be adverb. Woefully, that is right. And here it should not be inadequately. Only inadequate. L-Y not required. So what are the three errors here? The Delhi police have proved themselves woefully inadequate at best and outrageously partisan and communal at worst. I like this sentence pattern. It's really good. At best, at worst. Do remember the parallel expression. Go to sentence number four. Have proven. Absolutely right. Nothing wrong with that. Srinivas Hebel. The unfailing efficiency claimed by those who control the central and state governments in Delhi shall proven shallow. Where is the error? Must is not correct. Shall is not correct. Here we have to use, what is the subject here? The unfailing efficiency. 
claimed by those who control the central and state governments in Delhi. Efficiency, third person singular. We cannot use shall, we should use will. That is the first error. And here it is in passive voice. That means what will prove active voice will be will be proven passive voice so what is the correct expression here the unfailing efficiency will be proven shallow if they cannot enforce elementary law and order right under their nose yes nagamani that is correct and and do make a note it is passive voice not active voice so it will be proved they will prove something something will be proven by them will be b has to be there and do remember it is yes ram that is right passive voice now have a look at the last sentence rather easy a short sentence communal violence any time anywhere happens only due to the inefficient or colluded or both of those in power Collude is not correct. Optimus Prime has got it right. Also, Ayesha Samreen. Malayadri has got the first one right. And Sai Sri, yes, he, has, he or she, I'm not quite sure, got it right. And Pooja, second one, she got it right. Yes, here you cannot say inefficient. Inefficiency and collusion. We have to use the noun forms. Communal violence anytime, anywhere happens only due to the due to the inefficiency or collusion or both of those in power. Inefficient adjective, colluded verb. Here we have to use the noun forms. Words are right, form is not correct. Inefficiency and collusion. This word map is rather easy for a change. I have brought an easy one. Ear shot within the distance which from which you can hear or make out distance, area, dimension, range, length, spectrum. If at all there is one word that is important from this word map, I would say ear shot is one thing that also you can easily make out based on the word. And spectrum, spectrum also means range, spectrum range, otherwise, not. Uh, an important word map. Now work on these appraisal verbs. One or two are rather difficult and uh, if you read carefully, you will be able to get all the five correct. Try to get all the five correct. Malyadri says one D. That is from the editorial, clamp down. Clamp down means what? To take strict action in order to prevent something. Absolutely right. Clamp down. D is correct. Bring down. Bring down goes with the building. It goes with the government. It goes with something. So what does it mean? Bring down the ruling government. Bring down the building. It is not uh, A. Two is what? No, 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 no. Two is not A. Nagamani says two E. Only one student has got it right. No, bring down is not. Uh, Yamuno also has got it right. Bring down something. Here it is E. Destroy something. Bring down. Yes, Karthik, that is right. Two E. Satyendra maths 2E. And Verma also says that 2E. That is right. Oh, Verma, you are here. Drive down. If you don't know that, you skip that one, go to the next one. Then you can take the elimination process. Muniswami says uh, 3A. Drive down. Ravi also says the same thing. Chaitanya says A, Mira says A, Optimus Prime, yes, that is right. Drive down, 
work hard to reduce prices or costs. That is right, rather difficult. Live down, live up to someone's expectations. That is a new sage. Yes, D. Mahita, that is right. Live down, live up to someone's expectations. That is one standard expression. But here, not live up to. In a way, it is opposite. Live down. Live down to someone's expectations or live down a memory. Live down a negative thing. Four is what? C. That is right. Make other people forget a bad reputation. When other people can forget a bad reputation. In a way, you can also think, make others forget a mistake, a negative incident, something of that sort. Now, what are you left with? Set down, set down the rules and regulations. The management has set down the rules and regulations. Means what? Five is B. When you come across appraisal verbs, some are easy. Clamp down, easy. Don't focus on this. And bring down, a little confusing, but bring down the government, destroy something. In a way, this is also easy. Drive down, rather difficult. Then you have to spend a few minutes on this to consolidate. Live down, again, important, not easy. Set down, again, it doesn't go. The words and the meaning, they don't go with each other. Then you have to spend a few minutes to consolidate those three. Idioms, five idioms, easy, should not be a problem. You should get all the five correct. Spill the beans, that is an important one. This is also important. This is easy to make out. This is also easy, but uh, everyday English. Spill the beans, that goes with effective English. You come across in the newspaper. I see a lot of students have responded and they feel the answer is B. What is B here? Give away a secret. Absolutely right. Spill the beans means what? Give away a secret. Perfect. Take a rain check. This is not a regular expression. So if you don't know that, leave it. Go to the next one. Ah, that is also right, Pooja. Let the cat out of the bag. Very good. I appreciate that. Take a rain check, not a familiar one. Leave that one, go to the next one. Let someone off the hook. Based on the words, you can guess. Third one. So try to take that one. 3D. Optimus Prime says 2E. Mira also says 2E. Mahinder Singh says 2E. Fine, we'll hold that one. And what is the third one? D. That is absolutely right. Let someone off the hook. You can make out. Not hold someone responsible for something. To not hold someone responsible for something. You don't hold someone responsible for something. You allow that person to go off. Go scot-free. There's one idiomatic expression. Scot-free. Escape punishment. To go scot-free means what? To escape punishment. Let someone off the hook. Wrap your head around something. First you try to guess based on the words. Wrap your head around something. If you cannot, leave that one, go to the last one, rather easy. We use it, uh, everyday English, we use the expression, don't cry over spilt milk. What does it mean? 5 is C. Try to get that one. Don't cry over spilt milk. There is no reason to complain about something that can't be fixed. It goes with everyday English. Now you have to work on the second one and the fourth one. Take a rain check, difficult to guess, but wrap your head around something. Then you can guess to some extent, four, understand something complicated. When something is complicated, you wrap your head around that, obviously. And what, is, uh, what are you left with? Take a rain check, that means postpone a plan. You decide to do something at a later stage. Here, spill the beans, easy, important, and take a rain check, not a regular expression. When I say this, what I'm trying to convey, they, are not, they may not ask in the exam. Rare, chances are rare. It doesn't mean that you have to ignore completely. You should be prepared for any eventuality. Easy ones, you have to remember. Important ones, you can't afford to forget. 
and uh, something that comes once in a blue moon you have to remember give due respect you never know it may come may not come nobody knows that what is this uh, uh, thank you kartik i appreciate that and let someone let someone off the hook this is again important don't cry over spilt milk important what is there to learn from this editorial uh, headlines the first page not uh, editorial the first page there is one the headline says violence continues in delhi per third day toll climbs to 13 the number the number related to deaths death toll climbs to 13 it talks about that oh i'm sorry Where is this? A bit difficult to make out. You all must be knowing that. Trump renews offer to mediate on Kashmir, but skirts CAA. Here, skirt means to avoid the main thing, to go around the edge of something, to go, to go past the edge of. you don't touch the main thing you go around the border then we use the word skirt in a way it means ha huh, that's very good optimus prime in a way it means you avoid the main thing for that there is one idiomatic expression in english what is it beat about the bush beat around the bush or beat about the bush both mean the same usually we say conversation english don't beat about the bush come to the point that's an important word and what is the next one nda rule bihar passes resolution resolve what is the meaning of the word resolve to find a solution and what is a noun form resolution means a firm decision new year resolution you all must be knowing that but they are not permanent they are there for one month after that they disappear kaveri meeting skips skips is an easy word that should not be a problem avoid avoid easy word but a better word dodge i want you guys to learn the word dodge dodge means avoid and also duck to try to avoid usually the word dodge goes with uh, the press meet the minister dodged a lot of questions posed by the journalists what is the other word for journalist scribes scribe singular scribes plural so these are words you can learn from this uh, the front page and uh, south news weary kerala government withdraws proposal for pubs and breweries weary that's an important word means what cautious cautious you could also think of the word careful weary about something careful about something cautious about something weary kerala government withdraws proposal for pubs and breweries pub is a short form of the origin the uk it is a short form of public place and in the western countries especially in the uk pub a public place and the families visit a pub a family goes to a pub but there you can have food as well as drinks but it has changed over a period of time today pub is associated more with drink not with food and you can't expect a family to visit a pub that is rather ruled out you can't expect a typical family uh, visiting a pub that is ruled out but in the uk uh, here it is complete has a different connotation altogether puja but in the uk pub means a public place where a family goes to have food and drink dine and drink you all know the word dine dine is a verb dine conjoin twins to write ssc exams and separate hall tickets there's one word here conjoined conjoin join both mean the same united united joined united fake certificate racket was run from jail oh this is too much incredible news fake certificate racket from outside it is a bit difficult now see how smart people have become fake certificate racket was run from jail that is ultimate uh, not at all acceptable six children rescued rescue means what 
help someone, rescue someone, help someone, take someone out of danger, a dangerous situation. From traffickers, there's one expression you have to know. Human, this is very difficult to write with the stylus. Uh, handwriting looks a little clumsy. Please excuse me for that. Human trafficking. This is, you may get in the descriptive paper, they may ask you to write about human trafficking. Human trafficking means what? Uh, selling girls in the red light areas and selling kids uh, for employment in the industries where kids' services are required, like glass industry, matchbox, in, matchbox industry, carpet industry. Crackdown already you have got. These are the words you can learn from the page related to Southern News. Now, again, the first slide and the last slide, initially I said, what is there to learn from this particular newspaper or the editorial and the headlines? A reinforcement of the same thing. And this one page is enough for you guys. I, this, I feel this is the best part when it comes to the editorial analysis from the exam point of view, exam point of view from learning point of view. This one slide, this one slide will help you. Every day you have a look at this slide and if you remember whatever is here, that is more than enough. Wielding, wield means what? Display, hold. And usually it goes with a stick, outrageously, shockingly. And partisan, supporting, taking a stand to support someone. Arson, setting property on fire. Rioters, agitators, conflagration, conflagration extensive fire. Inexplicably, something that cannot be explained properly, strangely. Incite, provoke, instigate, cauldron. Unstable, not a stable situation, conspiracy, and a plan to harm someone. What is the related word? Collude. So one shot, you should be able to recollect the meanings of all these words at the back end of the session. Phrasal verbs clamp down to bring a situation under control. Bring down, bring down, hold that one. Drive down, hold this one. But bring down usually goes with buildings and government to destroy. Drive down, reduce the prices. Live down, it goes with expectations. Make people forget a negative incident or a bad incident. Set down, to write down something, it goes with management. And what are the five idioms you've got today? Spill the beans, reveal a secret, to let the cat out of the bag, and take a rain check, postpone something, not to do something immediately. Let someone off the hook, allow someone to go, or to go, make someone go scot-free, not to blame someone. There's one important word for that, exonerate. Exonerate means stop blaming someone. Wrap your head around something. Get into something very complicated. Get involved in something very complicated. Don't cry over spilt milk. Don't worry about something that happened in the past and that you cannot change at all. Next, from the headlines, you got a few words like skirts, not touching the main thing, going past the edge of something, and resolution, a firm decision, skip, avoid, dodge, Wary, cautious, careful, traffickers, those who smuggle, usually girls and children, and conjoined, joined or united. And you got a chance, but today's word map is not that important. You can uh, safely ignore, but for two words. One is uh, spectrum, which means range. And phrases, important phrase replacement, a new model I have brought for the first time today. Close a new pattern. And parajumble, not five sentences, six sentences. That's it for today. Hope you guys have got enriched and enjoyed the session. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow with a new editorial to enrich your language skills and improve your language proficiency. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.